as I have said before, um, like I say, I named America. I came up with the word myself. It means air and CA, basically. NCA. I forget exactly. I have better explanation somewhere else for what it means. But basically, um, air and I named the state I was in. California actually used to be all of all of what is America or the United States of America used to be called California long, long, long ago because I was going to name my country California first. California is the only state that was a country and is a country. And basically, it basically its area was the size of the United States of America. And then I decided to, to name it America because to commemorate my air, my invention of flight, basically. And the fact that I lived in California, which I also named myself. Anyway, God stands for Government Authorized Delusion. Anyway, and if you, if you look in the G-O-D, it's a G-O-D is a government term. G-O-D, G-O-D. Anyway, it's a government. It's a United States government term. The Pentagon. Anyway, uh, by the way, hive means five. Five points, five sides, five. That's what hive means. The word literally means five. So, that's why hives are hexagonal. Bees use hives. They use five-sided objects. Anyway, um... So basically, um, it's a genetic and a what's called thing. It's programmed into them, basically. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's why there's five sided to all their honeycombs and all that other stuff. Anyway, I figured out actually how bees fly. I might have figured it out myself. I'm not exactly sure. I did a lot of things before when I was, you know, something else. So anyway, um, insects and, and, um, and other stuff. That's why I also might have created the the mosquito. That's why I, when I created the, the aircraft, I named it mosquito, because the aircraft. Because I made because at the time I was doing genetics, genetics, and I had invented and created the mosquito, and then I created the mosquito flyer to commemorate because it was a fast aircraft with twin engines, very good engines too. So, and I might have invented the engines too. I don't really know. Like, I did a lot of stuff. I was very powerful and very fast at everything I invented. Could literally give you a list of things you should just do. And then you will climb to power. Anyway, whatever. I led lot, many races and many life forms. Anyway, so um, 200 or 400 races or whatever. Um, my first planets were basically every, every planet I did a different race and a different type of life form. Just, just for fun. You know, I never like to do things the same way twice. So anyway, God meant a government authorized delusion. A government authorized delusion. Authorized used to be with an O. Most people don't know that. They changed it to an A because, um, I guess, to, to basically make it not so obvious that God meant government authorized delusion. Anyway, it basically is something fake that Pretty much, you know, it's basically a big lie. And that would be JFK, pretty much, that, that pretty much tried to do that under, underneath me using my government powers or whatever. So, anyway, I found out about it, and, well, he got tortured. So, anyway, a lot of people didn't like what he did, so or what the kings did. Anyway, it was all a big scam or a ploy, you know, to, to basically have sex and rape a lot of women. And the first kings were really, 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 really bad. They literally ran, ran around like they were... They would pretend to be like they could see the future, or, or they would pretend like they like they knew what was going on, or like they were immortals. And basically, the Pope was in on it. The Popes were in on it. Everybody was in on it. All the high ups were in on it, and they were a problem. So I did something about them. And well, like I say, a place for which there is no doors and no way out, and they will not die, nor will they ever live again. They are trapped. Like human little playthings. I don't know if they're really necessarily in pain or not. They might be. There was a, f a fair amount of pain involved, but pretty much, and I and and I just kept it going for a little while, and then I stopped. Pretty much, I found out exactly how many times you can be tortured to death or tortured, and how much pain a person can really go through. But it was dependent on on what they had done. If they were just small little liars, and that's another thing. See, Kennedy and Jimmy Carter tried to do small little lies. 
but it added up to a big lie. So, oh well. <laughs> it's like, well, it adds up to something. So, I'm sorry. You're going. So anyway, um, a lot of people went and, and they thought, oh, we'll just pardon ourselves. It'll be fine. It's like, no, sorry, it wasn't. And realistically, they thought um, that, that by controlling humanity or lying to all of humanity and by starting this little ripple effect to the future that it would, they would change something. And it didn't. Anyway, whatever. It became a problem, though. And they were a problem. And, well, I stopped them before and I stopped them after when, and everyone else stopped them because they found out what was going on. Like, they only, they did kind of kill me or get me down and towards the end until everyone found out what was really going on and how it really had all happened and how I really was the creator of humanity and so many other races. Once everyone found out what the truth was, then I was like, oh, well, that's stupid. Okay, we got you. Anyway, so, and things progressed and I didn't die. Otherwise, I would have died. I wouldn't be here right now, so... Anyway, I don't really care. I'm, 50, I'm 500 trillion or uh, you know, 100 trillion years old. I'm older than old, basically. And uh, it only affected me towards the future years when, 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 when anyone could have technology. When anyone could have technology, then they became a problem because there are a few people that really had a reason to, to want to kill me. And realistically, they were just killing and hurting other people anyway. So other people were like, well, we're going to deal with that anyway. So anyway, and so it was a matter for the collective, as they say, for everyone. And all life forms came together and realized the truth and whatever. So, anyway, there's what, what I did and what was, what was my part in everything. Lucifer and creation and everything else and, and forming of 800 galaxies. And then there's what everyone else did. And that's them. I just know my little part in everything. So, anyway, and like I say, well, shrug. You know, it doesn't really matter. You know, no one really knew about it. I mean, I, there are lots of little loofs. There's lot. There are lots of Lucifers going around. No one, and no one knew that that, that was Lucifer. I was only a little Lucifer. I was only a little pint-sized Lucifer, like like three foot tall man, or child. Like I preferred it because it was less intimidating and less threatening. Child forms, you know, you don't really feel threatened by a child. And I was cuter. So, and I like to be cute. So, you know. So I spent like two million years about child size or whatever, wandering around. You know, there's a lot to do in an empire. A lot to do with, with creation and running galaxies and planets. So, And I did a lot of planets myself. So anyway, whatever. Anyway, there was a little problem on Earth with some kings and some other people. And went away. And some of them I just waited until he died and then I tortured the shit out of them. So literally <laughs> tortured them. Tortured the pee out of them. Anyway, yeah, uh, I shouldn't have done it. It was only about a thousand people that really got tortured, and most of them were clones or whatever. Um, some people tried all these different techniques about how to take control, like have a lot of clones of yourself, or have a lot of friends, or have popular vote, or or seem to be perfect, or 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 have a lot of money, and well, none of it really matters in the long run. So anyway, like I said, when you get to the really powerful state, money doesn't matter. A lot of things don't matter. So anyway. And I was very much powerful before. So I was like, and then everyone found out what a hero and amazing I was and how cool I was and how epically kind I was and how I stopped so many horrible things from ever happening. So protector of life is what I did. Well, I created life, so of course I'd protect it. I like my little life. And I love my little life forms. Mwah! Hugs and snuckles. Anyway, so... Hugs and snuggles. I mean, I was very loved and very cared about by many life forms. There was only about a thousand or maybe five million or two million, really, people that really had a reason to want to kill me and hurt me. Um, really just a thousand or six people, really, that were particularly bad. And then the rest. And then other ones, I was just like, eh, you lived your life. That's enough. Die. Get out of the way. You're a problem. So anyway, so about 250 million people in the total of humanity basically I had a problem with and they weren't really that many considering I mean all at once they're a problem but as you get billions and trillions and zillions of people well they're not such a big deal so and they were a problem for everyone so oh well anyway <laughs>